It's number one versus number two in the Eastern Conference. And good news for the Bulls, at least it appeared, because Derrick Rose would start after not playing on Tuesday versus New York because of an ankle injury. Dwayne Wade dropped 36 against Chicago in a loss last month. Here in the second quarter, it's Kyle Korver. Part of a big night for the reserves for Chicago. Carlos Boozer in the starting five and earning his worth. Here had a team high 19 and put Chicago in front 36-29. To Miami we go in the second quarter. It's LeBron James, a go-ahead three. He ended the first half on a 12-0 run. They led at this point 39-36. On to the third quarter. More from Miami. This time LeBron distributing the rock. On the receiving end, it is Chris Bosh. He had 20 points. Four-point advantage for the Heat. We get to Derrick Rose here in the third quarter. You won't see a whole lot of this. It's his only made field goal of the game. Chicago Trail 54-48. LeBron James hustles to get the block on Derrick Rose. Then on the break, it's Dwayne Wade finishing what LeBron started. The floater has Miami out in front 56-48. We fast forward to the fourth quarter. Chicago turns it on. Luau Dang, the all-star, spotting up and connecting to tie the game at 65. Back to Miami we go. LeBron James working on the perimeter. Then the one-handed shot and the foul. After he makes the free throw, it was a 70 to 68 deficit for Miami. LeBron heaves it down court here. Dwayne Wayne on the receiving end. And Miami takes a two point advantage. More from the land of three. This is what really carried Chicago. Kyle Korver, a deep triple. 76 72 Bulls off the inbounds. Again, it's Korver feeling it. Four point advantage, 78 74. Back to Miami in the final stages here of the fourth quarter. Scotty Pippen liking what he sees so far, but he's not going to enjoy this. Dwayne Wade, the crazy jumper and getting the friendly roll in his home city. Wade had 21 points. The Bulls' lead was just two. Now it's Dwayne Wade trying to make it happen again. He's off target. Bosch gets the rebound, dished into a wide open LeBron James for three of his 30. But LeBron would miss a critical free throw. So down by three, it's just a one possession game for Chicago. C.J. Watson for the tie. You betcha. Watson connects from downtown and ties the game at 84. You take a look. His feet were clearly behind the three-point line. One last chance for Miami. Dwayne Wade, the baseline fade away. No good. So we go to overtime between the top two teams in the East. In the extra session, it was all Chicago. Ashik gets the block. Then on the break, Watson to Taj Gibson. The Bulls bench outscored Miami's reserves 47 to seven. CJ Watson had 16, including this great crossover step back and he finds the bottom of the cup, 93-85. And the Bulls weren't done there. Watson. Over to Kyle Korver. Chicago hit 11 of 22 from downtown and outscored Miami 12 to 2 in overtime. Bulls win it 96-86 and take a four-game lead in the East over Miami.